guys, it's Joe here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about all the books I'm going to try to read before 2023. Currently, I believe I only have 17 books read out of the 40 I wanted to read. So obviously, I have 23 books that I need to read before the end of the year. Currently, I'm filming this on November 29th. So this is going to kind of be like a December TBR. I believe I have 12 physical books with me right now that I'm going to try to get to. Obviously I have more on my bookshelves but those are what I'm going to try to read. And then I also have my Kindle which I have a few books on there that I want to read so I will be listing that as well. Before we get into the video if you do not know I do have two books published right now. One called Deadly Scream and the other one A Demon's Heart. As of right now at the end of November I am very close to getting book three done as in like seven chapters so that's very exciting. The book book will be revealed soon so stay tuned for that. Anyway let's get into the video. So book one that I want to finish is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I tried reading this last week while I was in Hawaii and I'm not going to lie it's not my favorite. Um, I think the concept is really good but I think the author's writing is not a writing style I like particularly so I'm just going to try to get through it and hopefully end up liking it. I'm only 66 pages in and like it was kind of boring but I'm also not in the part where like the murder actually happens yet. So I think I just need to keep going and, you know, get to the exciting part. Like I said, I've already started this, so this is probably, probably what I'm going to try to finish soon. The next book is a book that's been on my currently reading list on Goodreads for the last, I think, six months. If you guys follow me on Goodreads, it's called Anatomy by... Sana Schwartz. I, this is the book I still can't figure out how to pronounce her first name. Oh my god, I did not realize that was a person. I thought that was just the art. So this kind of takes place back in, I don't know what time period it is, but I think it's, I think it's during the Victorian age where women still didn't have jobs and our main character is trying to become, I believe, what are they called? I think she just wants to become a doctor. I don't quite remember, but yes. So the main character's name is Hazel and she wants to become a doctor. And currently in this time period, that is not a thing. So she kind of has to like sneak around in the shadows to figure out a way to become a doctor after figuring out that there is a couple murders going on. And like in order for her to prove herself, she's kind of getting involved with these murders and like figure out what's really going on. So I don't remember what page I'm on for this. I'll have to find it. I'm not very far into it. It's it's not, like I think, like I said, the concept is really good. It just reminds me a little bit too much of Stalking Jack the Ripper. So I think I need to get that out of my mind before continuing this. And it's definitely a book I can probably finish in one sitting. Oh, I'm on chapter 10, found the bookmark. I'm on chapter 10, which is 93 pages in. So currently these two are the only two books I am currently working on and need to continue. Everything else will be completely brand new books. All right, so the next one I am going to be filming a reading vlog for because I did the first two. It is Kingdom of the Feared. I know I've had this for a while, but I've been getting really involved with schoolwork, so I haven't done a lot of reading. Kingdom of the Feared is the third book in the trilogy and the finale to the series, which I'm really sad about, but you know, I'm hoping this is really good. I've seen really good reviews about it. Thankfully, no spoilers because I've been trying to avoid it. This is currently the Mars Noble edition. I'm not going to speak much about this because it is the third book in the series, but I am very excited about where this goes. Also, I apologize if you hear wind in the back. It's currently very strong stormy outside like it's hard raining very windy so sorry if you hear that but anyway, so I'm planning on doing a full reading vlog of this. If you're interested, stay tuned. All right, another book I'm planning on doing a reading vlog on is Bloodless Ties by Katie Wismer. I've spoken about her books in the past. She's also a YouTuber, an author, tuber, like, and don't make, like, just because she's on YouTube, don't downgrade her books. Her books are honestly really amazing. This is the third book in the series, The Marionettes, which is the only series I've read so far from her. I haven't read The Anti-Virginity Pact or The Anti-Relationship Year yet, but but I eventually want to read those. They're just not the typical books that I read. I have read both of her poetry books and they are very good, except for the like the last one that's come out. I have not read that yet, but I will get to it eventually. Also, like Kingdom of the Beard, because this is the third book, I'm not going to speak a lot about it, but if you like Vampire Academy or even the Vampire Diaries, this is a really good book for you to read. I, like I said, I'm going to be doing a book talk about this. 
or reading vlog. And the cat is joining me because I was gone for a week in Hawaii without the cat and she was very angry with me. And now she won't leave my side. What are you doing? Come on. Say hello to the camera. Oh my little baby. She's probably gonna, yep, there she goes. She's sitting in my lap now. So, because winter is coming around the corner, it's already snowed here in Iowa, I'm going to be reading Voices in the Snow by Darcy Coates. I have spoken about her in the past. I actually made a video about my new favorite genre, and this is my new favorite genre. It's kind of like horror and like thriller, and I am absolutely in love with Darcy Coates and her writing, so hopefully I really like this. This book is about a girl that gets trapped in, I think it's a cabin with a stranger after having an accident in the snow. She doesn't remember anything that happened about the accident and she kind of starts to realize that the stranger might have caused it or that the stranger is just acting very weird with her and like any questions that she's asking so she's now stuck in this cabin with a stranger that might be trying to kill her. Um, I'm probably gonna wait till it actually snows to read this just because I feel like it's gonna give me more of the vibe to read it so hopefully it snows here soon. Well not hopefully because I don't like snow. Yeah I'm not a snow person but if it does snow I will probably this this will probably be the first one I will pick up. So the next book I want to read is a book I recently got I think like a month or two ago. It's called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I'm sure everyone has heard of this by now. It's not a new book but it is a book I'm very curious about. <laughs> um, I don't quite remember remember what it's about but I believe it's about a woman who has a lot of husbands. Okay so it's about this famous woman named Evelyn Hugo who along the way of her career has had seven husbands and I believe you know what I don't actually know <laughs> okay I'm trying to like read this but like oh okay so someone is trying to figure out why she had seven husbands I believe that's what this is. Um, either way, I'm excited for it because it involves ruthless women and that's the best. <laughs> right, the next book is a book I've been trying to read for a while, but it's just so thick. It's Zodiac Academy book number one by Caroline Peckham and Susan Valenti. I, the series is continuing. I think there's like 10 books in this already. And so it's like, I really need to like, you know, get going and catch up. I've heard so many good things about this series. So I really, 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 really want to read it. I am not 100% sure what it's about. If you haven't learned anything about me yet, it's that I don't like to read descriptions like a lot because I kind of like to just go into it. I'll read it like a little bit to get like a sense of things but Zodiac Academy kind of like already gives me the sense of like what it's going to be so I don't really want to read the back so I'm not going to but Zodiac Academy is also on this list for December. Lately I have bought myself manga for the first time and I just finished my first one and it is Wutaku I don't know. I think it's Wotaku. Love is hard for Otaku. Um, I read the first one, so I bought the second and third one. I believe there's five or six in the series, but I'm ex super excited to get into this. I watched the first and only season on Amazon Prime, and I loved it so much that I looked and found that there was a manga, so I picked it up, and I'm excited to continue the story because, honestly, this is a really, really cute story, and if you're beginning to get into any manga or anime, I highly suggest this series. It is absolutely adorable, and I love it. The next one is A Light in the Flame by Jennifer Armentrout. I will be doing a reading vlog on this because I absolutely love the first book and I'm waiting for this book. I just haven't had a chance to read it yet. So there's going to be maybe a reading vlog with this. I don't know. I feel like I have so many reading vlogs that I have to plan out, but I want to do a reading vlog on this, but we will see. I still have yet to read The War of Two Queens, but I'm really kind of interested in this book more. So out of those two books, I'd probably this first. And if you want to see a reading vlog of this, comment that down below because it will encourage me more to do it than to not do it. This is the second book and I don't remember what, what's the first book called? A Shadow in the Flame. This is the second book to A Shadow in the Flame. So it's kind of like a prequel series to um, Blood and Ash, which I still don't know where my book is. I think someone still has that, but I absolutely love this, the prequel series, like love it. The next one is also another Darcy Coates book. It's called Craven Manor. This takes place out in the countryside where this almost homeless guy is given a job as a groundskeeper and he's told that he's the only one that lives there. So he takes this opportunity to take care of this place that no one lives in until one night he notices a bunch of lights are coming on in the house and he's very confused because he's supposed to be the only one that's there. So it's kind of the mystery of what's going on inside the 
manner? Is he going to die? Does he investigate? Why was he brought there? Because he was specifically asked to be there. So it's like, why was he specifically asked to be there? And is this place haunted or is someone actually there? So it's another Darcy Coates book that I'm super excited to read because obviously I love horror, mystery, thriller, and all of the above. The last physical book I want to read is Book of Night by Holly Black. It's a little, I bought this in Hawaii. So it got a little damaged on the trip back, but Book of Night by Holly Black. I know I originally wasn't going to get this, but then my mom was like, oh, you want to get a book? I'll pay for it. And I was like, okay, you paid for this $30 book. So here we are with Book of Night. I know I started reading it. I'm only like a chapter, not even a chapter, I'm like probably two pages in. And I feel like I'm really going to like this book. I really like her first first series, The Cruel Prince. So I'm hoping I will really like this. And I think soon I want to pick up, I don't remember what it's called. I think it's The Lost Air, like her new book that just came out. So I want to pick that up for sure because I kind of miss The Cruel Prince world. But besides that, this is about a girl named, what's her name again? I let her, Charlie. She kind of gets involved in the life of being a criminal and she, I think she has the ability to walk through shadows or use shadows of some sort. I'm still unclear of exactly what kind of power she has but I know she has some sort of like underlying dark powers that like people are trying to hire her for and like get her to work for them so involving being a criminal like along those lines of being like oh we need you to like steal this for us we'll pay you this much for it so I think that's what I understand about this book I like I said don't like a lot of spoilers so I don't read a lot of the back but this is also on my list all right that was the last of my physical books where did I found it I found it I found it so for my kindle books I know for a fact I want to read Court of the Vampire Queen which I could buy but it's like if it's on kindle unlimited why not read it there and I also want to read Hunting Adeline by who is that it's HD Carlton I read Haunting Adeline and I loved it so those are two let me put it back up here it is Court of the Vampire Queen and Hunting Adeline Sorry, I'm back again. Um, my SD card decided it wanted to fill up at 16 minutes, even though it said I had 56 minutes, but it's fine. Anyway, we were discussing Kindle Unlimited decisions. Okay, so I also want to read Gods and Monsters by, I can't see who that is. I think it's Janie Marie. Um, here's obviously the thing. I also want to read Promises and Pomegranates. I am still seven books away. So I think I'm going to also try to read the anti-relationship year and the anti-virginity pact from Kitty Whistmer as well. And then I'm kind of just gonna go from here and just choose something on my bookshelves because I have so many books that I can read. But yeah, and most likely I'm probably gonna go back and buy the fourth and fifth books of these because they are great. All right. But anyway, those are all of the books I am planning to read in December and hopefully complete my challenge of 40 books this year, even though it's normally 70 or 75. I just had a feeling this that this year was not going to be a great reading year, so I lowered it, lowered it to 40. Okay, so this is a lot of books. Well, those are the books I want to read in December. Comment down below how you're doing on your goal, if you're as behind as me, or if you've completed it already. Or just comment down below anything you want to read in December. Obviously, your list probably isn't going to be as big as mine, but you never know. Like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos about books and writing. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!